had a better time I'm trying to get over it Yo, what's up everyone, it's Blue Nova and I'm here to bring you a tutorial on how to get the weekend style vocal effects and this will be kind of more relevant into the style of uh, My Dear Melancholy, just the feel of it so without further ado, we're going to jump straight into it um, there, there are a few vocal effects in here um, so we're going to try to make this as fast and smooth as possible so the first thing I'm going to do is right click just to solo this lead vocal I'm going to turn off all the effects we have right here on the master channel so that way, you know, you're getting the, the pure form of everything. You'll hear how everything sounds like individually. We're going to turn off all these other effects right here. Um, right here, I know you're going to see this is a link to this insert right here. And all I did is um, just right click on the arrow and route to this track only. So that's why you see all of these vocals routed to this one. And it's really just going to make sure that the vocals don't go past zero decibels because that's the loudest it gets in the whole entire thing and we drop it down to negative three decibels just to make sure that the whole entire song will be in negative three so with that explanation you know set set aside we're going to have a picture in fl studio and i'm using picture just because a lot of people don't have interior's auto-tune so i'm just going to show you with this free you know stock plugin method um now we're going to work with oh sorry how the song starts is with uh, some harmonies but I guess we'll do that last let's start with the lead vocal so we're gonna highlight and just start right there so we have picture and the key is gonna be an E minor and then you wanna bring down the auto tune you know just to just to where it doesn't sound too robotic everything else you can leave it and this was gonna sound like I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time I'm trying to get over it But I'm stressing this life And the feeling got me here Wondering about where So now that we have that We're gonna um, have Fruity Limiter But what you wanna do Is just, you know, really just make sure It's on the limiter section right here Have the release, bring that all the way down to zero Now I know a lot of people might question this method Um and I probably always wouldn't recommend doing it. I just, you know, did it for this song for some weird reason. Um, so I brought the gain up to where the ceiling is at zero decibels just to level out the whole entire thing. And, um, you know, really, it, it can really, it will really just make the whole entire vocal flat um, and just make sure the whole thing just is going to look like a block. It's really just going to be full. So with that being said, this was going to sound like I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time I'm trying to get over it But I'm stressing this life And the feeling got me here Wondering about where I'm heading now I So now that you hear that, you hear the whole vocal is full um, You know, we didn't, I didn't use a compressor in this You know, in this stage of mixing the song I uh, don't know why, I guess I just tried something different this time um, now the next thing we're going to have is going to be Fruity Parametric EQ2 And what we're going to do is just clean out some of the low frequencies uh, Cut the low to about like 50 hertz uh, Some in a 223 hertz area uh, Some in the upper, you know, upper low frequency, upper mid um, We have one right here around 482 hertz Now we boosted uh, the 6 band and the 7 The 7 band is going to be boosted to about 6 decibels Now with that it's going to you know, we're just going to play the quality of the EQ'd vocal. I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time. I'm trying to get over it, but I'm stressing this life. And the feeling got me here. Now the next thing we have is going to be um, a de and Maximus. And uh, all you want to do is just, you know, just bring the band down to negative 12. That's going to take care of the high end frequency. And um, I guess the reason why I started with the fruity, the fruity limiter, um, and bringing the vocals up to zero decibels, is because the the deesser and maximus it works the best when you have your vocals already at zero decibels, and then bringing it down to negative twelve, it takes care of the vocals really, really well. I don't think a lot of people know about that, but it has your vocals have to be around like really just at zero decibels for it to activate well. Now I'm gonna play it. I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time I'm trying to get over it But I'm stressing this life And the feeling got me here Now the next thing we're gonna have is delay 
um, the weekend, you know, just him being a singer. Um, delay is really important for his vocals to really bounce around and, and sound good within the mix. So uh, the time right here, I put it to about right here. Uh, didn't set it straight down to the middle. I wanted to bounce back a little bit faster. Um, and setting it right here with the tempo 160 is gonna make sure it, you know, it bounces right back in time. <clears throat> uh, the volume, I'm gonna have it to about right here. This is a good amount. I wouldn't recommend going past this, um, you know, or else it would kind of be a little bit too excessive. And with the with the cut of the delay, just put it straight down in the middle. Now we're going to play what we have right here. I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time. I'm trying to get over it, but I'm stressing this life. And the feeling got me here. Now the next thing is going to have a Fruity Reverb too. Now, um... A lot of people know The Weeknd, a lot of his songs are ambient, especially in My Dear Melancholy. A lot of the songs um, had a long reverb tail, like really ambient. So you want to get that effect by having what I have right here. And uh, like I said, I kind of don't want to run through all these effects, you know, all the, uh, you know, the values because we have to go through all these too. So I'm going to play what we have right here. I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time. I'm trying to get over it, but I'm stressing this life And the feeling got me here And as you hear that, you can really hear the vocals stand out and sound really clear The next thing, um, and really the last thing we're going to have on here Is going to be a Fruity Limiter And you're just going to bring the release down to zero All these others right here, the attack and the head, you can leave those And uh, we're going to play, it's really just going to level out the vocal So it doesn't go past zero I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time I'm trying to get over it, but I'm stressing this life And the feeling got me here Now that we have that, we're going to move on to the vocal harmonies Now this is going to be really important, um, you know, just because knowing that it's the weekend With the weekend, uh, there's a lot of harmonies uh, that really are panning left and right Just to give it a wide feel, so we're going to start with this first one right here Sorry, let's let's move to this one. Now, um, pretty much you want to have the same exact vocal effect. So all you had to do is just right click, file, save mixture track state as, and then you can go ahead and load it up. Just right click, file, then open, then open the same thing you saved it. Um, what's going to be different right here is going to be the amount of reverb. Now, um, you know, just really just add a good amount. This is the values I had. I uh, don't want to run through, but just to right click and solo, this is what's going to sound like. So this one is really low um, In your harmonies, what you want to do All your vocals, they all need to be with. They need to You want to sing them all in the same key But then all of them need to be different You need to have some low ones um, Some high ones and maybe even some high notes Even some even higher notes To make sure that there's difference Kind of like what you would hear in a gospel kind of song um, and that's why this one is low. This next one right here is going to be a little bit higher. So this one's going to be more in the center. This one's going to be to the left. And this one is going to be to the right. Now moving on to this one. This is what um, this one would sound like. So playing all this together, this was gonna sound like. So it's like you will get that choir gospel kind of sounding effect that you hear in the weekend songs. So um, like I said, this is really great to have. Uh, you do want to get this from my site, and probably might be up for a limited time. Might take this down. Oh, so, you know, it's really something you want to get as soon as possible. Now, this one right here, I know I paused this before, but this vocal right here is just going to be, you know, just um, just a quick ad-lib that I threw in. Na, 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 na. And uh, with the reverb amount, you know, just changing the size of the room so that there's difference. And each of these, you know, the amount of reverb will change. Just so there's some variation within the harmonies And that's what makes it, you know Gives it that widespread feel And there's always some changes within the uh, the harmonies and the lead vocal 
So playing all these together with the ad lib included. Now that we have that, we're gonna play it together with the beat right here. And uh, with the beat, only thing I did is, you know, just add a little bit of mid frequency presence and that's it. But um, the beat will be included within the folder once you get it from my site, uh, bluenovabeats.com. Just click on vocal presets. The whole kit will be there with the raw vocals. So we're gonna play it without the master channel on here. Now, we're gonna uh, move right here where the vocals actually start, where the lead is, and we're gonna play it. I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time. I'm trying to get over it, but I'm stressing this life. And the feeling got me here, wondering about where I'm heading now. I can't stand to think about it all, hope I never fall. Why? So now that you hear that, you hear the quality of it and it's almost there, but we can do a little bit more. That's what the master channel is here for. So we're going to have Isotope Ozone 5. And if you don't have uh, Ozone 5, if you have any version with the EQ on it, just, you know, you just want to use that to cut out the high frequency just to clean up the song. Now the eighth band, just click right here, go to low pass, select brick wall, right here, brick wall. And then bring that band into 15,126 hertz. Um, and we're gonna play it. I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time. I'm trying to get over it, but I'm stressing this life. And the feeling got me here. Now, as you hear, you can hear like the whole entire song having a little bit more control. The high end frequencies aren't, um, aren't too excessive. Um, and if you don't have Isotope Ozone 5, I have it on a backup. I always, you know, include this. But uh, the Fruity Convolver is just going to clean up the same way Ozone 5 does. We're just going to turn that off just to show you it will sound exactly the same. I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time. I'm trying to get over it, but I'm stressing this life. And the feeling got me here. The next thing we're going to have is going to be Maximus. And uh, this basically is just going to clean up uh, the high end frequency. All I did just bring the band down to negative six. I left all these settings alone. The mid, I just brought the band all the way up because we don't want to compress anything uh, in the mid section. With the low, the same thing, just bring the band all the way up. And then on master, you know, just have that band all the way up. And the last thing is going to be Fruity Soft Clipper. And you just want to have all the bands the same. You don't want to have any adjustments to it. So just leave that as is. Now this is what everything's gonna sound like all together. I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time. I'm trying to get over it, but I'm stressing this life. And the feeling got me here, wondering about where I'm heading now. I can't stand to think about it all. Hope I never fall. Why? Now playing the uh, harmony in the beginning because we've really just been playing the lead. This is how it's going to sound. I don't got a bit, really not a bit of time. I'm trying. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this tutorial. Um, like I said, if you want the whole entire thing, which I suggest you do get because this might be up for a limited time, you can get it from my site, bluenovabeats.com. The raw vocals will be included. Each vocal chain will be included. The master will be included and the beat will be included inside. So you all can use it as a reference to, you know, to create your own song. And this all for like a really great price, uh, which I said, it's going to be very limited. So get it now while you can. But make sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment, and tell me what you want to see next. If you need any of your songs mixed and mastered, just go to the contact form uh, on my site, bluenovabeats.com. And if you need uh, any of your beats for your own projects, you can you know, just go to the beat store, get any genre you want. And, um, you know, really thank you all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.
Dressing this life And the feeling got me here Wondering about where I'm heading now I can't stand to think about it all Hope I never fall Why are my twenties looking rough?